Hi there. Welcome to Banana World. So even I need to concede that there's a ton that can be said about the unbelievable Janet Jackson. She's an enabled lady. She's a legend. She's got a plan. She is a fighter. The best show lady she's, in a real sense, done everything. Yet, with regards to her affectionate life, folks, that is where she takes a stand. Her life has been extremely rough. Furthermore, I will separate. Many individuals, and even Janet herself, will quite often feel that her adoration life is reviled in light of the fact that, in a real sense, every one of her connections has ended in catastrophe. All right. Janet's most memorable and tremendous relationship indeed, basically, the one individuals believe was the first, was with Wizardry Johnson in 1983, when Janet went to the American Music Grants in Los Angeles. She was shot with the high-profile basketball player. Furthermore, when I say shot, I mean there was a photograph where Wizardry Johnson was seen folding his arms over Janet Jackson, while in another they were seen locking lips. At the time the image was taken, Sorcery was 24 years old while Janet was 16 years old. Furthermore, for the people who reviewed those photographs when they re-emerged in 2020, there was an entire discussion about what Janet truly went through growing up. That is to say, on the off chance that a 24-year-old was freely locking lips with her when she was 16, could you at any point envision what was happening in the background? Also, as though that wasn't sufficient, Janet's most memorable marriage was with performer James DeBarge, whom she stole away with at 18 years old in 1984. Concerning why Janet chose to get married when she was so young, it was said that she saw marriage as an approach to getting away from her dad, Joe Jackson, who was an obsessive person and supposedly exceptionally oppressive. Also, we've all heard those accounts from his own kids. He'll oil you down. So when the clasp of the pressing rope hit you with just, you know, and it was very much like me passing on, you just flipped all around the space, your back all over. Also, I generally hear my mom and back. No, Joe, you're going to know how long you will be aware. You know, similar to what I was like, clearly I would simply surrender. I'd go. There's no other viable option for me, you know? What's more, I loathed him for it. That's right. It seems like someone I would likewise need to take time off from. Obviously, Joe was upset about Janet's marriage, and he did all he could to end it. All things considered, the marriage didn't endure in any case, since James was a fiend and Janet wound up in a truly challenging situation as his overseer. As per Janet, she would find the pills in the house, and she would take them and attempt to wash them away for good, and they would be moving around on the floor battling for them. Might you at any point envision going through something to that effect when you're only 18? All things considered, she likewise said that she really focused such a huge amount on James, that she saw the positive qualities in him, and realized that he just required help, yet she wasn't the assistance that he wanted. Also. Joe Jackson had their marriage abrogated in 1985. Discussing James, there were likewise bits of gossip some time ago, that Janet had a mysterious youngster with him, and had her sister, Ruby, deal with that child. I accept that I really do have a sister out there. Truth be told, in 2016, James himself proposed that he accept that there was a child, However, both Janet and Ruby rejected that any such thing at any point occurred. Assuming it's valid, you'll find out when she's prepared for you to find out. At any rate, secret children aside, in 1987, Janet Jackson started dating Ren Elizondo Jr., a Mexican lyricist and music video chief she met while he functioned as a reinforcement artist for her sister, Latoya. During their relationship, he even co-composed a few melodies with her, and he likewise coordinated large numbers of Janet's recordings. What is interesting about this relationship is that fans never realized they got hitched furtively in 1991, and it was only when Wren petitioned for legal separation in 2000 that general society became mindful of their marriage. Concerning why they got separated, 
Ren said that they turned out to be more business and innovative accomplices than genuine sweethearts and just chose to petition for legal separation and get it over with. Indeed, Janet additionally expressed that, however much the marriage was private, it was for some unacceptable reasons. We just kept it hidden. It was only an exceptionally confidential thing. We never told anyone. Furthermore, we and I think one or two individuals in my family knew, and we just ran off and sort of got it done. Furthermore, for some unacceptable reasons, we certainly cherished one another. But it was to a greater degree a saving reasoning that you could save somebody. The other relationship that was public was the one with Germaine Dupree, which began at some point in 2002. During an appearance on his digital broadcast Speedily, Germaine uncovered that they originally ran into each other behind the stage at one of Janet's shows. He conceded that he wasn't as popular at that point and was just truly known for creating. Along these lines, he wasn't precisely on Janet and her group's radar. Nonetheless, Janet saw Germaine and his different ventures, and what started as a fellowship between them in the long run became heartfelt. Also, in view of what Germaine said, despite the fact that Janet was really popular, he was the person who truly presented her to the world and rescued her once again from the air pocket of the Jacksons. In any case, you know, I presented her with a great deal of life that I didn't actually realize I could. Open the individuals, however, you think that when someone is that renowned or that rich, they know it all. No doubt, they've seen everything. In any case, it was a ton of world that we were living in here, and stuff that we were going on culture. No doubt. Culture-wise, she didn't know that they hadn't gotten in L.A. In this way, um, that is where we essentially get hitting it going. We were showing each other different things. In the wake of being together for two or three years, Germaine understood that the relationship wasn't for himself, and that is the manner in which they severed things. Clearly, they actually remain companions. Furthermore, in the course of Janet's life narrative in 2022, Germaine really talked pretty affectionately about Janet, conceding that they had remained companions for more than 10 years after their split, and would keep on doing so from now on. I couldn't say whether I accepted every one of the duping charges that made the rounds about Germaine and how he made Janet grimy. Concerning Janet, she was able to give love another attempt. Furthermore, she met a Qatari financial specialist named Sam Almana in 2010. Janet and Sam started dating presently, prior to securing the bunch in 2012. In this relationship, Janet had a child, Isa Almana, whom they invited into the world on January 3, 2017. You better believe it, and he's above all else in my life. And surprisingly, my hardworking attitude has changed. I actually love to work, however, he starts things out. Be that as it may, in April of that very year, only months after their child was conceived, it seemed like Janet and Wissam had headed out in a different direction. I simply need to keep it genuine with you all briefly. Uh, yes. I was isolated from my better half. We are in court, and the rest is in God's grasp. Evidently, they isolated soon after the child was conceived in light of the fact that the social distinctions among her and Wissam turned out to be much more clear after Isa showed up. Supposedly, Wissam was compelling Janet to fundamentally impact her methodologies. While she was hitched to Sam, she turned out to be more private. She was likewise wearing garments that covered her from head to toe, and generally speaking, he had become seriously controlling which turned out to be truly choking for Janet. In any case, those are the connections that have been made public. Obviously, there were gossipy tidbits about different connections to a great extent, similar to the one with Bill Bellamy. All things considered, during an appearance on individuals during the 1990s web recording in 2021, Bill Bellamy got into whether he really dated Janet thinking back to the 1990s. And he said there was a fascination. 
I'll be straightforward with you. There was something going on. It was bizarre on the grounds that it was like she was modest about it, yet displayed in her coquettish ways that she dug me something other than a bit. So, the two never completely dated, yet they just avoided it. There was likewise a toss with Matthew McConaughey that was created after Janet honored Matthew McConaughey at the 44th Grammy Awards. Clearly, flashes were flying behind the stage as they modeled for pictures together. Furthermore, Matthew affirmed in an appearance on Watch, What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in 2019, that they went out together, but it never bloomed into a full relationship. Then, at that point, there was additionally Q-Tip, who likewise proposed that, very much like fans thought, something occurred between him and Janet, after they met a couple of times. No, however, they were still companions like her. I love her to death. Do you understand what I mean? So Janet professes to be extremely private with her adoration life. Also, we definitely have some familiarity with this multitude of connections. Significance, it's plausible that, assuming she has truly been private, there could be others. Yet, what's the issue here? Might she at any point keep a man, or wouldn't the men at any point keep her? Is her adoration life cast like some of you have been saying? Furthermore, before some of you all begin saying that she's likely not intrigued, Janet herself expressed that there could actually be potential for her. I haven't abandoned love. Be that as it may, for what reason do you believe she's simply not fortunate? Sound off in the remarks segment underneath, and go ahead and drop a boat you think might work. Who can say for sure? Janet may simply think about your boats.